Hey everybody, Mr. Bullock here. Um, this is a solving algebra lesson, solving multi-step equations with variables on both sides. Uh, this is where algebra, I think, starts getting good and it starts tying in with uh, all the rest of your higher math. So let's go ahead and get started with this here. So solve each equation right here. So 8x minus 3x minus 10 equals 20. You might have seen this uh, problem before. Okay, in fact you have. I showed this in a prior video. So 5x minus 10 equals 20 because I combined uh, the like terms, 8x minus 3x, and then go ahead and add 10 to both sides. You get 5x equals 30, and 5 goes into 30 six times, okay? And uh, notice I, I put the reasons why right here, combining like terms. The addition property is when we added a number to both sides, and then the division property is when we divided both sides. So, all right, so, um, okay, on this one here, I'm going to use the distributive property here. I'm going to distribute this 2 through 2 times x and 2 times 6. Don't forget the 2 times 6 part, you guys. Okay, that was the distributive property. Then I'm going to combine the like terms. 7x uh, plus 2x is 9x. Okay, now I'm going to do the subtraction property and subtract uh, 12 from both sides. Then I'm going to do the division property and divide by 9, and you get x equals 3. All right. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to use the distributive property. Put the 5 through this guy, so you're going to get uh, 20x plus 5. Watch out. And then this one's going to become minus 15x, and then this is going to become a plus 18 because you got a negative times a negative. Okay, so you're going to get that right there. All right, notice I put it in red because I, I do too, you guys. I, I often forget about the negative times a negative, especially through the parentheses, and I just, you know, I get so tied up and I'm going so fast, I get lazy basically. So... So it's plus 18. Then I'm going to combine like terms, you guys. I'm going to combine the 20x and the, and the minus 15x, and I'm going to combine the, uh, the 5 and the 18. 5 plus 18 is 23. See what I did? 20x minus 15x is 5x, and then 5 plus 18 is 23. Now I'm going to do the subtraction property and subtract 23 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 5. You get x equals 3. How are we doing? Pretty good, huh? All right, okay, this one here. All right, what I'm going to do first is multiply by the, uh, the reciprocal of 3 halves. Let's get rid of that fraction, you guys. So, so here, the 2's are going to cancel now, and here the 3's are going to cancel. And then over here, 3 goes into negative 24, negative 8 times. And if you remember, this is the same problem we did uh, in the prior one right here. So I get uh, 3x uh, plus 5 equals, and that's going to become a negative 16 over there. I'm going to subtract 5 and it becomes a negative 21. A lot of people want to make it negative 11 or something, or 11, or I don't know. You guys know where I got that from. Uh, sometimes I do that too, you guys. And then divide both sides by 3, and you get x equals uh, negative 7. Okay? All right, okay, this one, uh, we have uh, variables on both sides of the equations. I got eight, negative 8x on this side. I got a positive 4x on this side, and I got numbers on both sides. So what I like to do is get... Uh, my x is all on one side, so I'm, and this is just the addition property. I just added 8x to both sides. See that right there? And it's going to cancel with that 8x right there. Okay? Uh, so you get uh, 7 equals, um, and that combined like terms, 4x plus 8x is 12x. Okay? Now I'm going to add 17 to both sides. Okay? Here we go. Go ahead and add 17 to both sides, and you get 24 equals 12x, so x equals 2. All right? Pretty groovy, huh? All right, okay, here, uh, now you could multiply both sides by 4 if you want, or 1 fourth is the same as dividing by 4, and since this is a multiple of uh, 4, I can divide that by 4, and divide that by 4, 60 divided by 4 is 15, I think I'm going to go ahead and distribute the, the 1 fourth through, 1 fourth times 16 is 4x, 1 fourth times 60 is 15, all right, now I can uh, get rid of, uh, put the x's on one side, and, uh, and so what I did right here is I subtracted 4x and subtracted 4x from 6x right here, and I get 2x minus 5 equals 15. I still have the 15 over there. Now I'm going to go plus 5 plus 5, and I get 2x equals 20, and then divide by 2, and you get x equals 10. Okay, and then here, uh, let's see, I'm going to just quickly glance. Let's see, I forgot what I did on here. Uh, I distributed the 2 thirds through. Um, yeah, I think because this is a binomial over here, I didn't want to multiply both sides by 3 halves. Um, could have, and it would have worked just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 thirds times 6y and 2 thirds times 15. You'll find out the higher you get in math, you guys, the more ways you can solve uh, equations. By the time you get to Algebra 2 or above, most of your problems can be done probably 5 to 10 different ways. Boy, in calculus, you can go all kinds of different ways. So. 
students when they could, you know they come up and say I got the right answer but I didn't do it the way you did it and I just say you probably did it correctly so anyways I I, I distributed the two-thirds through so uh, now I'm gonna go three goes into six two times okay and then this three goes into 15 five times so watch what happens here so uh, now I'm gonna go two times two y is four y and then two times five is ten okay see what I did all right and then I'm gonna subtract four y from both sides all right and uh, and I get uh, 8y minus 4y is 4y. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Divide by 4 and you get y equals 4. Alrighty. Alright, that's a good job you guys.